So what's up vlog? In today's DIY lessons, I want to show you the little contraption that Maria and I put together for my fish tank. So if you add extra CO2 to a fish tank, it obviously makes the plants grow faster because then the plants have got more carbon dioxide with which to photosynthesize and create oxygen and grow. And so the tank here, uh, this here is a bottle of sugar, warm water, yeast and uh, sodium bicarbonate, which is closed off and has just a piece of airline tubing going into the tank here. And look! I don't know if you can see the bubbles, but it's actually producing carbon dioxide that I've just got hooked up into my diffuser there and is releasing CO2 into the water. So hopefully it's going to not make the water too acidic because it's got, um, doesn't have much wildlife in it, but hopefully it's going to hope let the plants grow a bit faster than that with all this extra CO2. And then this is just my extra oxygen, which I've got plugged in as well, just to mix nicely and to provide the creatures living in here. It's mostly just snails with lots of oxygen. Hey, you're so smart, eh? Yeah. Maria says she wants to be the thumbnail, so science come look here and smile. Thumbnail, science Maria. <laughs> so what's up? Today is Tuesday, Monday. What day is it today? It is Monday the 8th of March 2021. Time is a construct that has no meaning. Uh, today's video is just an update on what I've been working on, actually. I've mostly been spending the past couple of weeks, the last couple of weeks of my holiday, working for my job, my back work that has now become semi-permanent work, continuing into the year of varsity because we are starting varsity online with some practicals in person, not a lot of information about it yet, and so I'm continuing with this job for as long as possible because I love money and because it's really awesome to get paid to learn and I've been learning some super interesting things recently. The things that I've been working on most recently have been building a REST API with Firebase and MQTT. It's like an IoT um, uh, protocol for sending information from IoT devices to a broker and that broker can then talk to a computer or a server and using uh, Firebase as a back end for like a REST API to call, to send requests to and to get information from from a database back and forth uh, to help build a web app for control of some IoT devices for my company so that's been really cool and I've been really enjoying learning Firebase. It's easier to learn than Azure, than Microsoft Azure like just to, to start up and get going uh, and to, to start working and to start learning with has been a lot easier than Azure. The documentation on that is much better. I'm busy looking at it right now. The documentation is much better. It's much simple to get, much easier to get started. It's not as involved. You don't have to learn as much uh, special syntax. You can kind of just write plain JavaScript code, which is really cool. It's not as powerful because you can only write your uh, functions and that. If you're writing cloud functions, you can only write them in JavaScript as opposed to Python, C++, everything under the sun for Azure and I'm sure AWS as well. But it's really cool to get started for and just learning for myself, like learning how to do stuff and how to do, um, how to build things for myself. It's been really cool and I'm really glad that I've got to learn it. Uh, and then I've also been using Firebase functions and that's so triggering uh, functions and triggering pieces of code based on events or based on database reads or writes and that listening constantly in the background for things to happen to that I, those IoT devices and then triggering other pieces of code to happen when something else happens in the background. Really cool and yeah, I, I used some of Azure functions to do some code uh, previously that, that asynchronously to run whenever something happened in the back end but now using Firebase it's even easier and I've got some code set to run every certain couple of minutes uh, and whenever there's an HTTP request on the REST API, so that's really cool. And that runs like every nine minutes and is constantly on board and is constantly on listening for server requests. So that's really cool. And I've really been enjoying it. And they make it so easy to learn these things. It's basically free. You don't have to pay anything unless you use too many functions or too much storage or bandwidth. So that's really cool. And yeah, I've just really been enjoying learning Firebase. And so Varsity is starting next week on the 15th of March online for us computer engineers. They sent out an email telling us that our practicals would be in person, but they've given no more information. And based on the modules that I'm doing this semester, doing EAI, artificial intelligence, doing EME, electromagnetics, IPI, which is engineering professionalism, and EAS, which is computer engineering architecture, the only one that I think might actually have some stuff that we need to go to campus for is computer engineering architecture. The rest, even during normal times when it wasn't COVID, you did them in your own time on your own computer by yourself or with a group, but not in the labs on campus. So I'm not super positive about that for myself. And lectures will obviously be online for the foreseeable future. Mm. So not too positive about that and not too excited. But hey, I'm looking forward to the semester ahead. Nevertheless, it's going to be cool to go back. And I'm sure I'll spend some time in Pretoria with my friends, uh, getting to see them, working on stuff with them, working on 
projects and uh, studying together. James and I have to write this up uh, with a whole lot of other people for that holiday module networking on the 26th of March, so I need to do a bit of studying for that as well, but I'm just trying not to think about it. And in addition to the hard work that I've been doing recently in the holiday, I've been learning some Vue, the front-end framework. Uh, Toddles learned that a while ago and has been telling me for years now basically how cool it is as a front-end framework and how easy it makes it to design really cool, nice-looking websites. And so I haven't learned a front-end framework before. I've dabbled in a little, little bit of React and Angular, but now I've learned some Vue, and it's really cool, and I'm really enjoying working with it. And it's so easy to make like really good-looking websites. And so hopefully that Tux Weather app I've talked about is going to get made soon, hopefully by the end of this week, actually. Uh, and so I've really been enjoying working with that. And then you know, I've just been spending time with Maria, who's sitting on the other side of the room, busy working. Good job, man. You're such, an inf such a good influence. <laughs> Uh, and spending time with family and chilling and like, like you saw in the last video we went to Benito for a little bit which is really cool and just enjoying the last little bit of the holiday it's been a four month long holiday which is a little bit crazy and a little bit ridiculous like that's far too much holiday for one person and for one go it's literally a third of the year so looking forward to getting back to work I'm sure in about two weeks time I'm going to be begging for a holiday but that's all right and yeah, it's just been a good couple of last weeks, been working hard, been chilling hard, I've seen some friends, played many games of Settlers of Catan, haven't won any yet, and just had a really good time. But thanks for watching this quick update video, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers!